Good evening, everyone. Hey, it's Mercury Ashton. Um, this is just a quick video. I have come up with a couple of additional crafting tips that may help you along the way. So I want to see what you think, or if you've used them, that's great. That's even better. But I just discovered it. Remember, I'm a beginner <laughs> in this whole um, uh, crafting with the dollhouses and my sewing and etc. But anyway, the point is, is one of the things I, I wish I would have known about this like months ago was um, I love using like sand and rocks and be creative when you put together in the little, whether you use mason jars or vases to decorate um, with the things I've bought in the hobby stores. For example, I'll show you here in just a second. I'm gonna set the phone down. And as long as it doesn't tip, we're good. Okay, so anyway, here it is. So um, there will be an earlier video um, where I was discussing about putting these together. So I put some rocks in here and once I'm done, I'm gonna snugly put the these little babies breath. It's just a decoration that I'm using um, to add that I came up with and I, I'm so excited. So anyway, the one of the things um, for a beachy look, I was using the rocks and there is this uh, uh, sand. I call it sand, it looks just like sand. I got it at uh, Michael's, so. All right, here we go. So using this funnel, it's gonna, it, made, it made it a lot easier and then it lessened the spilling. So there it is, it's going in. Almost create my own hourglass, I'm just kidding, anyway. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep this going too long, but I just wanna let you know um, about using funnels to help make things a lot easier. I, and the only reason I'm even making this video is because like I said, I've been doing it for months without a funnel <laughs> and trying to create um, these cute little decorations that I love putting together. And I will finish this later. Now, um, on to the other tip, here we go. So, okay, so we know about all of the um, dollhouse stuff that I'm working on. Well, a lot of the things, um, in some of the videos you've heard about the LED lighting and having to learn about putting up the wiring. While I was doing some um, sorting through shopping through my little favorites, well, something new came up, and um, I think this may be a lot easier, um, especially for those beginners. You do have to use, like you have to get a lithium battery. But anyway, look here. So for the lights, um, for example, on my conservatory, I've decided to use these lights here. Here we go. Watch. Give me a minute, and I'll be back. Hi everyone, it's Margaret Ashton. Remember, excuse the mess, I'm under construction. So here's what I was talking about. For the dollhouse um, lighting, instead of using um, the wiring, it depends on where you're putting it. If you're doing a chandelier, I haven't come across anything that um, you can do LED lighting with the lithium battery for chandeliers yet, I'm still looking. But anyway, maybe for the outside lights, especially like I said, for my conservatory, I'm gonna use these. So here's an example, here's one. They're um, LED dollhouse lights, and um, all you have to do is replace the battery. You um, use the switch to turn on the light, and um, there's no wiring required. So I did find a lot of different ones. Look at that one, that's gonna be cute. Um, so we've seen that one, we've seen that one, we've seen that one. I thought I had a different one and I know I did. Let's look. Oh, is this my other one? Ha! How dare you? I did, can't believe I put that down there. No, not that one. <sighs> All right, anyway, and here's the other one. So this is a lamp that you could use, um, or that I will plan on using for the inside of my Victorian because I want to keep with the air so I'm doing these different types of um, themes for the Victorian. So yeah, so I wanted to tell you about that and um, give it a look and see how things are. So anyway, I will check with you guys a little later. Take care.